In this video, we're going to do some lovely core strengthening movements. Three moves, three rounds, each with progressions. But we're going to start with some lovely core warming up exercises. Starting with your feet wide apart, knees tracking the toes, and start shifting your weight from one foot over to the other, keeping nice and upright, and then allow the shoulders to twist. Let the arms hang heavy and let them wrap around the body and rebound as you go from side to side. Feel the lovely twisting movement in the hips and the spine and the shoulders. Roll your shoulders and then a lovely stretch to the side, opening up down one side, stroke down the other arm with the opposite arm, lifting one arm up high over the head. Try and keep the arm as straight as possible. Imagine you're between two walls, so you're keeping nice and upright as you do this movement. Enjoy flowing from side to side, but really reach up to the sky as you do this to open out the sides of the ribs, the sides of the core as you do so. Round the shoulders. And now we're gonna come down to the ground to do a knee hand movement. For the final warming exercise, we're going to do flexion and extension from this position. Start by curving up, initiated by the tail and lift through the back, and then ripple back down to extend the spine and looking up as you do so. Enjoy this lovely rippling feeling through the spine, really starting to loosen up and stretch everything that we're about to use in the next core movements. The first of the three movements is elbow rocking to lying. In this movement, we take one arm to 45 degrees on the floor, and then we lean into the wrist, then the forearm, and then lower with as much control as we can to really slow the descent down to lying using the other arm across the body to reach, but also counterbalance the movement to help you. You can do this down one side and back up the same side and then over to the other side. You can then add the two together and roll around almost in a circle. And as you progress and things feel stronger, you can slightly increase the speed of the movement. The second movement is the start of the rocking position. We want to lift our feet by tilting onto the back of the pelvis and curving the spine, looking in towards the stomach and just rocking there, holding the back of the knees for reassurance and then wobbling, challenging our balance and using the core to really hold us nicely in position. Have a try, have a little break putting the feet down and then go back in for a few more wobbles. See what's accessible for you today. Then transitioning to the third movement by dropping both knees to the side, leaning into the hand and coming onto all fours from this knee hand position, we're going to push down into opposite hand and knee to extend the opposite, other opposites hand and leg, trying to take them straight out in front. The aim here is to stay as central as we can. We're wanting to avoid the wobble by using the core to keep us nice and strong in this low crawling position. Extend and you can add on a wide lunge movement to the side also with the hand and the leg. Again, see what's accessible for you today.
and have a nice wriggle to relieve any tension. For the second round of these movements, we're going to up the ante slightly. This time with the elbow rocking to lying, instead of starting with the legs out straight in front of us, acting as long anchors to the ground, we're going to have them bent. It's exactly the same movement, posting the arm to 45 degrees and then lowering from wrist to forearm and down onto the back. We're still using the other arm as a counterbalance to reach away as we lower down with as much control as we can and to help us lift up. This is working the obliques in the sides of the core particularly. It's okay if the knees roll slightly to the side as you go down and come back up. The main point here is just to increase the intensity slightly by having them bent. To up the ante on the second move, we're going to tip back into the position we were in the first place on the back of the pelvis and this time we're shin twisting. Knees go one way, feet go the other. This is a lot harder as we're really challenging that balance and if you want to re increase the challenge even more, you can take your hands off. I like to create an opposition to the feet with my hands to help balance and stay in position. But in so doing, we're adding on a great extra bit of challenge to the core. Now, transitioning over back into knee hand for the third movement. This time, instead of just lifting limbs, we're gonna be lifting our knees. So start by tucking the toes, making sure you have a nice stance so your shoulders are over your wrists and your hips are over your knees. And then we're just gonna lift the knees by an inch or two. It doesn't have to be high. In fact, it's more intense when it's lower. All we're doing is lifting and lowering. It takes a lot of core strength to do this and particularly to then move into crawling patterns. But this is a great way of building up towards that and getting that nice core connection the whole way around the core. Remember to give your wrists and shoulders a good rest after you've done this. For the third round, now we're feeling stronger, we're gonna add on. This time we start the elbow rock from laid down. We post the arm to the side and as we do so, we lift up the legs and bend them together to one side into what's called tight, tight side vent sit position. Do this repeatedly from side to side. Use the opposite arm to counterbalance as before. Lean down onto forearm and then onto the back, still using lots of control so we don't thump down, but this time increasing it by the movement and the weight of the legs. So for the second move, we're going back into that rock and shin twist, but this time we're gonna add on an extension of the leg by the lower leg. This means that we're holding being back in the tip back position for a bit longer, and then by extending the limb, we're challenging the balance even more again. This looks really funny and feels really ungainly. So just give it a whirl and make it a bit more beautiful than I have. Coming round for the final move of the final round, we're going back into knee hand position again, where before we were taking off our knees up and down just gently. This time we're taking off single feet and hands, trying to stay as central as solid as we can. Take it as opposites once you're able, and then you can use this to move around. And this is the basis of foot hand crawling, which you need a lot of core strength and general strength for. So if you get to this level and you're feeling strong, then the next thing to do would be to go over and see one of my inverted 
foot hand or knee hand crawling videos and give them a try. This is super strengthening and super hard work. You've done really well. Now it's time for three lovely stretching moves for the core. To stretch off after all that core work, come into a sphinx position and lift up, pushing through your forearms to extend the spine. You can raise up even more onto your hands into a cobra stretch to really stretch out the front of those abdominals. It feels so good. Then to come down into a second stretch, extend the arms, take one leg over the other to roll through the body onto your back. And then we're gonna come into what's called the banana stretch. So extending your legs and take the arms up above the head. Then you're gonna lift up and grab your right wrist with your left arm and pull it to the side and then cross your left leg, your left ankle over your right ankle and pull around so that you're creating a real banana shape at the top and bottom ends of your body and breathe in that position. It feels so nice through the side. Then center yourself and go to the other side, grabbing your right wrist with your left hand, pulling around and crossing over your left ankle with your right. And again, twist round, breathe, stay there and just really enjoy that stretch, particularly to the sides of the abdominals and undo yourself. Then the final stretch is nothing better than a good hang. In the door frame, reach up, keep your toes on the ground, bend the knees and oh. If you've enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe and see the caption for lots more of what I offer.